us all. That is why it is so immensely blasphemous, an insult, to even suggest that it's even possible that through any human means or efforts, one can satisfy the holiness and the righteousness of God Almighty and to pay that horrid debt of sin on their own. No greater insult could be handed to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. I mean, to make such a claim and to rest one's faith on such a thing is to state that what was accomplished by the Lord Jesus Christ was neither sufficient nor even necessary. What a horrible thing that would have been if God said, well, you can work your way here and had sent His Son to become sin for no reason. Well, that's not the wisdom of the Godhead. To make such a claim is to declare both the Lord and this book to both be alive. Go ahead. You'll stand before God one day. Take that position. You're going to answer for it. You think you're going to escape the wrath of God? Religion claims to look unto Jesus Christ as the author and finisher of their faith, while all the while they're putting all their faith in their own works and their own efforts and their own selves. I am my own Savior. I am my own God. That is what religion is. We do not have a religion. We have faith. We have faith. The Lord Jesus Christ for us is nothing less that are all in all. And that's where we stand. And it's where we rest. And that's where all our hope is tied up in what he's done. The author and the finisher of our faith. He's all our hope. He is all our righteousness. He is all our peace. He is all our joy. And he is all our eternity. Heavenly Father, it's important that every so often we be reminded of the great cost that was paid with joy on our behalf that we could have eternal life. And it's appropriate, Lord, that on this evening, the last night, the Feast of the Tabernacles, which is the anniversary of when the Word of God was made flesh and dwelt among us, that we remember the cause behind it all. It wasn't the little baby, it was a 33 and a half year old man that hung on that cross and then descended down into hell and rose again on the third day. That accomplished it all. Let us never forget all that the King has done for us. We pray and we ask for these things in Christ's name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's sing it.